talking about uh are you as a male are you supposedly supposed to buy dinner for the female and her kids you know and you just whoa 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 are we are we in a relationship <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me let, let me let me recap so you can understand what happened. Someone shared okay. uh, a post with us with a meme stating that the girl was upset because he didn't want to buy extra food for her to take to her kids. It, that was that's what they posted oh. to us, and they was like, "What do you think?" Uh, our show is called the LDM Show, so they was like, "What do you think the LDM Show is this right?" I was like, "Heck no." I'm dating you, not your kid. You know what I'm saying? And then how long? How yeah. long was I with you? <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah, I, I'll know. I don't want to go 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 out with a chick and she get a to go plate. You know what I'm saying? Let me get another chicken farm <laughs> to go. Nah, that is so nah. cute. Uh, but hey, my thing is, man, I uh, yeah, I'm bilingual, yo. So I talk, I, I speak English and I speak Dutch. You know what I mean? Oh, so okay. every every. Every first date, yo, is Dutch. You know what I'm saying? You pay for yours, I pay for mine. You know, man, I don't pay for nothing. Yeah. Oh, that? That's, that's, I, I, I don't, I don't use no line I date. <laughs> yeah. Yo, straight Dutch, man. Like, my dad said, if, I, if you can't precipitate, don't participate. You know? Oh, yeah, that's so, so true. So my that thing is, is so like, so yo, true. don't call me up saying, hey, you know, I want to go see a movie. You know, if you say you want to go see a movie, then you take me to go see the movie. It wasn't my idea, you know. <laughs> it was your idea. Don't get there to the box office and be like, act like I'm on pay. No, 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 no. We don't do that around here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. If I like you, if I find out you can uh, reciprocate, oh, yeah, man, I'll, I'll pay for a dinner. You know what I'm saying? I'll pay for a drink, but they ain't going to be the first one. No, no, no. We go to the bar. First round is on me. <laughs> H2O on the rocks. Yeah, uh, we we were talking about that uh, before, and I always said um, I'm half uh, Spanish, so my 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 Spanish mom and always told me, listen, when someone invites you, it's like in, um, in Spanish it says "en vite paga," meaning whoever invites you pays. Right. So that that goes with the date, and oh my God, all these girls, oh you cheat, you just don't want to buy. No, it's if you come to me and say, hey Charles. Uh, I would love to go out with you to, um, tomorrow for dinner. You want to go? My mind is going to be like, oh, snap, she's paying for me to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. I, there ain't no such thing as a male problem with that or not. You just ask me out. So I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to do like y'all yeah. do. I'm going to leave my wallet home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. Hey, hey, me too. I'm, it's like, if we don't understand that, like, if you can't... If you, if you're not independent, the best dates I've ever been on is a woman that doesn't need me, and I don't need her. You know what I'm saying? She she pulls it out, I pull it out. Oh, for real? All right, yo yo, you get the tip. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever. It be, it's, but don't just don't expect me. Don't expect anything because you're gonna make an ass out of you and me. Because I'll leave your ass there. Yeah, so I'm true. sorry. I'm that's sorry. what I say. Shoot, my thing is this, man. The best way to get a get a date, man, is like you know, in the grocery store. If you see women in the uh, in the frozen aisle, you know they quick and they lazy. If you see them in a the produce aisle, you know what I'm saying. Pick up a girl in the produce aisle. I mean, she uh, she prepares her food. She takes her time. You know what I mean? I don't mess with the right. chicks that, the, uh, for most microwave women, man. Can't mess with I microwave, had a microwave women. girl. <laughs> nah. Yeah, can't mess with. You can tell a lot by a chick by looking in the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, and and I tell uh, a couple people if they dressed up to impress, but one of those impress moves that you're like, wait a minute, it looks like you don't take care of your home or nothing like that. Because there's a there's a even for men, there's a cer certain way a person would dress that you'd be like, okay, this person does not take care of nothing but themselves. You you know, mm -hmm. meaning that their house mm -hmm. is probably all screwed up. Uh, they microwaving everything, you know, or going to the store, you know. Yep. It's like yeah, you can tell by the car. How many restaurants yeah, you, you went to, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, you you be chilling, chick by the car. You know what I'm saying? Where they keep their car, dude. You can tell by dude where he keeps his car. You can tell the way he takes care of his house. No, so true. But true. yeah, but yeah, my hey, man, my mom always. To go out, a man goes out, a gentleman goes out looking his best. 
So even if I'm going to Walmart, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to look like, you know, like I, like I'm, I'm going on a job interview damn near. I like suspenders. I like frigging, you know, a tie, you know, even when it's hot, I wear, I wear a short sleeve with the tie and the shorts. I mean, like, dang, yo, the vest with the short sleeve. Like it, I'm always going to look good. And I want women in the same way, man. You got to look good. Don't take 20 minutes to look good. Just look good all the damn time. Be all right. Yeah, I told uh, ladies uh, if they want to date, if they want to um, try to find someone, first of all, don't look for them in the corners. Uh, I was like, and second of all, always dress to impress, but not not to dress to uh, get a one night stand. You know, I was like, oh yeah, because if you if you're dressing to get a one night stand, don't think that the guy is going to respect you. Yeah, right. I, I, I call it like, uh, like they say, like sailing is uh, what's it called, uh, a term for fishing. You know, they put that net out and they just scrap the bottom, right. and, and, and then all the, and then and then they pull that big ass thing up and then they you know throw the trash out. Well, women, mm -hmm. that's what they do when they dress and they show everything. They show all they curve. You're trolling. You're getting all the trash. You're getting everything. You know, coming towards you're attracting all the the filth. You know, you might get a good one here and there, but you're not attracting what you want. So, man, dress like a I will say like a uh, what do you uh, a Christmas package. You get a Christmas package that's all wrapped up. You cannot see what's inside of that bad boy. Most of these women be dressing up like in a and Christmas package is in a, in a freaking glass box. You know, I can see everything. You know, I ain't surprised when we go home at all <laughs> because I saw your curves. I saw your titties when when you came out. I saw your ass when you came out. Baby, you, you know, yeah, cover exactly. it up. Exactly. Let, let me take let me take it off. Let me let me see. <laughs> you know, tease me. I say the same mm -hmm. thing. It's like if you're gonna show everything that's in there, then what's the purpose of me trying to get it? You know what I'm saying? I'm not you're not yeah. making me work for it. Yeah, like yeah. like we bring up uh game shows. I was like, do you think like um, make a deal. They will show you what's behind the curtain right away. Is it going to be fun? No. You know, that's why they make yeah. you want it. <laughs> you know? Yep. I love, I love a chick that has one of those, those dresses that show all the curves, but it ain't, you don't see no, you don't see nothing. You, you might see a sweat yeah, like on the, the uh, The spring dress? What they call those spring yeah. dress? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it covers yeah. everything. Spring. Yep. Everything covered, covered up, and then right, right, maybe right at the top, 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 you might see a little diamond or whatnot. But you like, yo, you don't see no cleavage, you don't see nothing, nope. but you know it's there. You know, it's like, woo, yeah. she's fine, she's sexy. I seen yep. shit like that the other day. I was like, damn, that that's a bad, that's a badass woman. <laughs> that's a badass woman. Now, out of all these other chicks out here, she's the best dressed, and it's not about it. But you seen a couple sluts, you know what I'm saying? They had me, they gave, I gave them a double eye, but that one over there, man, I didn't see nothing. All I can do is imagine what it looked like underneath. Yeah, yeah. Now that's what and I, I tell that's you. What the dress is not too short and not too long. It's like a perfect, you know, match that you're going to be like, wow, what's under there? You know, or what's this? What's that? And then the way they represent themselves. And I tell a lot of people, you know, I'm from the Bronx, New York, and I'd be like, you girls complain so much about meeting the wrong guy. Be like, oh, I'm always meeting the wrong guy. I'm like, well, wouldn't the problem be you? You know what yeah. I'm saying? What the yeah, I want the math. I want the division. What's the common denominator? Yeah. I'm like, you're the problem. You're looking for the wrong person in the same place, or you're dressing the wrong way, <laughs> attracting the wrong guys. So it's not mm -hmm. us. It's you. You know? Mm -hmm. I think males are uh, sexual. Yeah, males are sexual demons anyway. You know, our minds are set differently between a female. So if you're there showing everything, we're going to be like, wow, um, I am lonely. I can probably hit this real quick. You know what I'm saying? And right. females I think are more. Uh... That... Go ahead, go ahead. What you were saying? Uh, what, what I was saying, David Chappelle said it. Where he was like, you know, if I, uh, women, women uh, dress up like that, you know, like, like a whore. And they're like, yo, I'm not a whore. You know, he's like, so if I dressed up in a cop outfit and you're like, oh, help me, help me. He's like, hold up. I'm not a cop. You know, <laughs> just because I'm dressed like a cop yeah, yeah. <laughs> doesn't make me yep. a cop. You know, <laughs> but you're dressed up like a whore and you, you don't want me to think you're a whore. Then stop dressing like a whore. You know? That is so, so true. 
you know, mm. because uh, that, I tell them. I don't dress like a young guy no more, you know. Yeah, I dress like yeah, a grown yeah, man. I'm like I dress like a grown man. I don't wear baseball caps. I wear, I wear, I wear. Uh, they call them derbies, or you got fedoras or drivers. But it's it's funny that a guy guy in front of me had a baseball cap, and then he turned around like, "Why do I have to take off my hat?" He's like, "He don't have to take off his hat. He has a gentleman's cap on." So, right. like, if, you know, dude, I, I dress different. You dress different, you get treated different. Period, point blank. Yeah, I, 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 I spoke to this, to this one guy that mm -hmm. was in my neighborhood walking by, and I'm like, excuse me, can I ask you a real quick question? No offense, but why are you dressing like the young kids, you know? And he said, oh, because it makes me feel young. I'm like, um, wasn't you born in the 70s? So if you want to feel young, wouldn't you dress the way you used to dress in the 70s? You know what I'm saying? Because right yeah. now you're just looking ridiculous with the pants all down, you know, having uh, a double father belly, you know. I'm like, the dad bod is good, but you got like double or triple dad bod with your pants down and in the corner searching for little kids. For, oh, no, I, I date I date my around my age. You said it around your age. You're still kids to, to me, you know. I'm like, if you're 40 or yeah. 50 and looking for yeah. 20 to 30, those are kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I, uh, yeah, and I, you gotta I, dress up. You dress up. You date up. You grow up, bro. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I and yeah, I and yeah. I challenge every man that's out there dating. Date somebody that's got more than you. You know? Like, right, right. Real. Stop. Stop dating women that that have less than you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna do nothing for you. They ain't gonna do nothing but bring you down and give you problems for motherfuckers that got less less than you. You want someone that got problems that you can't even think of because you ain't got the you ain't got that type of cash you ain't got that type of lifestyle you know what i'm saying someone that can bring you up yeah and women you know stop dating motherfuckers as a a, a, a freaking uh, what do you call a, uh uh like a, a like a hoopty like you gotta you gotta you gotta fix them up for some shit you know yeah yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. that's a definite women, uh i tell women you know how many times are you gonna dress like I told her I said do you dress like you go into a club to get a job interview and the one lady was like no I said so then why are you dressing like that to try to get a man I'm like some of my callers they, some yeah. of the callers you know because we're live on Facebook so some of them get a little upset when I'm saying something to them I say don't call my show then if you don't want to hear the real you know what I'm saying that's the that's the real that's the real. I, I, yo yo, I'd rather have I'd rather I'd rather step up to a chick in a business suit than a chick in a, in a tight ass dress. Yeah, you know? because the, the, the tight ass uh, dress for me is just when I was single and I and I would just want to mingle around and stuff like that. A business suit is like okay, this is the one I want to settle with. Blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. and then a lot of the females are wondering why. Am, is my kids without dads or why am I kept getting these guys that hit it and quit it um, is because of the way you're dressing and the way you're acting outside. They not, yeah. they're not looking at you as that person, you know, or, or you fall in love with potential. That's what women do. They yeah. fall in love with yeah. potential. Oh yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know, like, oh, I can change this he, guy. Don't worry about it. I can change yeah, this he, one. Yeah. They always trying to change a man. You can't change a man. He is who he is. As soon as, as soon as you met him, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, we spoke about it. Uh oh, what, uh, one of the questions were, um, my, my boyfriend, my living boyfriend is constantly going out every weekend. How can I stop that? My first question was, was he doing that when you met him? You know what I'm saying? So she was yeah. like, uh, yeah, for a couple of years we were dating and he was always going out on the weekend. I said, so then what you thought was going to change? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, you he wasn't, a, he wasn't know. ready to settle down when he was going out every weekend. And when he met you, he kept going out every weekend. That tells you he wasn't ready to settle down. You know what I'm saying? So, get your ass all you, all you, all you, all you That's all. Yeah. Just when he gets home, yeah. that there's food there, and, and he has someone to compensate with. But he wasn't there for, yeah. for a relationship. Yeah. yeah. My, my thing is, that's, a, that's, a, that's one of those dudes that uh, got a girl that, you know, he, he likes her. But he ain't, she ain't everything that he wants. So he out there every weekend looking for something else. But, you know, he's been trying all night. And then he going to come home and fuck you. You know what I'm saying? So 
<laughs> that's your choice to be in that type of relationship, but you got to understand where it's at. Homeboy ain't got that much game. <laughs> yeah, that is so damn true. You know, yeah. it's like I tell people, you're, you, you, you're not going to, uh, you know, find water in an empty well. You know, you can't, oh, I'm going to change this well. I'm going to make it get water. No, you can't. If it's empty, it's empty. It's done. You know, I was like, a lot yeah, of people baby. need to understand yeah. that. And, you know, guys are, like I said, they sexual deviants. Like, you know, they, they're all about, especially the younger ones. And the girl, mm -hmm. when they see girls mature faster, they mature because they want a relationship, and but they don't mature in mind wise, like you know, common no. sense wise. You know, mm -hmm. that's the only thing they no. don't mature in. Yeah, and I tell a lot of people if you're, if you're listening and, and everything, and if, if it's bothering you, then we're talking about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, if you're, if you're, if, if, you know, there's a there's a fuck, there's a fuck tart in every uh, family. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know which one, it, who's a fuck tart is. It's probably you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're standing around talking about, oh, mm, mm, wow, what's going on here? Uh, they're talking about you. That's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's, it's you. you. If you can't point, if you can't point somebody out, then it's probably you that's going through that shit. And plus, yeah, 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 man. <laughs> females, it's, it's, females, it's, it's, and uh, females and guys definitely are uh, different. I think right now it's just a lot of immaturity. A lot of people going into relationships want to possess, you know, uh, uh, the next person, you know, the next person's time, energy, and all that other kind of stuff. And then, on another hand, they want they want that other person to make them happy, or make them feel secure, or you know, feel that they're special. And shoot, sometimes, man, you need that. You need to give that self. You need to have that shit yourself before you come into a relationship. Don't don't come to me oh, yeah. wanting to make you feel happy or feel sexy or feel important. Nah, you're supposed to feel that before you came here. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, that, that's a good point because I said, like, a lot of people are like, oh, I feel energetic in the summer. I said, yeah, when you leave that window open and that sun hits you early in the morning, you get up energetic. Like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I said, that's what, how you're supposed to feel all the time. You're not supposed to have someone else try to make you feel like that. You know, mm -mm. I said, because yeah. if you do search for a person to always keep you up, you're always going to be down. Because oh. you're not going to find that right person, you know, because we don't know, like our, as men, you know, like we don't read minds and they're always a female think that we're supposed to read their minds and that, that doesn't work. So that's why a lot of females emotions go down. Oh, he don't care about me. I'd be like, did you tell him what mm -hmm. was wrong with you? No, he was supposed to know. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, like I was supposed to know that my mailman was going to bring me the bill that day. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I know it was coming. No. I just didn't know when. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no. no. I, I, I no, guess it's no. I guess it's the age thing that plays a part. Uh, because people say, "Oh, you got to be street smart." I don't think you're street smart. Then, if if you're having people play you like that, you know. I don't. I don't think it's called. I mean, I think it's uh, it's really standards, man. It's like what you what are you, what are you setting yourself up for? Most people get into relationships, and then after that relationship, then they have another check. Oh, I don't want this, and then and then they get into another relationship, and they're like, oh, oh, I don't want this either, you know. So and then yeah, when they yeah, get to yeah. their fifth checklist of everything, you know, that they didn't want. Well, you should have had that checklist in the very beginning. You yeah, know, yeah. why did you go? I, I want uh, Yeah, I want A and C from that other relationship, and B from that one to combine. Mm -hmm. No, no, you should have had that all. You know, and I know some checklists, you, you, there's going to be one or two, like, uh, he don't have it, but I'll still be there with him, with those. But at least if you have mm -hmm. 10 things on your checklist and the guy or the girl rings seven or eight, then maybe she's good to go, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, and then, and then, then you have your good. radar up. <laughs> like, a lot of them are like, fall in love with potential and be like, oh, you know, I don't like this. But because he got potential, I'm going to go ahead and just let that fly. No, that was a red flag. Oh, there's was another <laughs> red flag. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like yeah. all these red flags come up, and then you still think it's going to be okay. Nah. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. you stop lying it, to yourself. It's just like uh, uh, you, you're buying um, you for a car because you have a used car, and the, uh, the head gasket went out. And I'm like, I was telling my wife, nah, but I love this um, van because... It's 
our family van, you know, we drove everywhere. She was like, I said, all we need to fix is the engine. And she said, yeah, then the engine, then this, then that. She was like, mm -hmm. it, it's, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like a relationship. You, you think you can fix this, but then something else is going to happen. Uh, yeah. You know, the potentials, the potential only shows each time you fix one thing. So if you don't see the whole picture, then why are you going to continue trying to fix it? You know, I don't understand that. Yeah, yeah. You just need to go ahead and trade that motherfucker in. Yeah, Get you yeah. A brand new, brand new brand car. New and just say, hey. mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, my, and like you said, yeah, what, you say, baby. And, and, and college, you was dating. A lot of people don't know how to date. You know what I'm saying? Like they they get they they date a girl and then they don't want to hurt the girl's feelings, so they think they make the girl think that it's exclusive. You know what I mean? Oh, and they're out there actually, you know, trying some fish. You know, or women are out there dating and they want like this guy to be, you know, exclusive. And it's like, no, we're, you're supposed to date. You're supposed to try yeah. out other people, you know? And I would say with I, men, I, man, what will help, will help me was actually start being friends with women. Like I went, went like three yeah, months yeah, just yeah. being celibate. Like I oh, was that's like, no, people, was so when I dated, when I dated, mm -hmm. I, it wasn't sexting. It was, hey, what are you doing Saturday? All right, cool. Let's go out somewhere. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we go out here. I'll take you back to your house. I go to my house or, you know, and or we chill here and there. It wasn't a, a sex thing. I was like, I told people, if you can last three months with a person, two to three months, especially as a male showing a female around or she's showing you around, you, you know, you're going to last a little bit longer. I was like, right. now with that said, it doesn't mean that you, you, you somewhere down the line, you're not going to have a one night stand and it'll turn out to be. Uh, years from now, you're still together. It, it could happen, but you know, mm -hmm. it's it's not one of those things you want to keep looking for because it's not going to happen all the time. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was. I, I think this place. This place is you got to put people on pedestal. Yeah, yeah. I tell them you make them work their way up. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. There's a lot of people yeah. when they get into that relationship, they already have them high up. You know, penthouse status already. You know. Yeah. I'm like, no, uh -huh. make them work, put them in the basement, make them work all the way up to a penthouse status. You don't put them up there mm -hmm. right away because you're going to be disappointed up many times. You know, so, right. and, you know, mm -hmm. I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I was like, many of these covers tell the story right away. You don't even have to read the rest. Yeah, you, know? no, you really don't. You don't. I mean, I like, I've seen, man, I've seen like... many horror movies. I know how it ends, you know? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I can. I, had to, I started. I got smarter, man. I started testing women because I'm an I'm an intellectual, and I love right. I love someone that knows what the hell they're talking about, and and I love one, people that know they got their own purpose in life. They're just not doing what you know. They just didn't go to school and go to get a job and doing doing the what's it called the the friggin' the cycle over and over again, going through the friggin' uh, habits. And I always try right. to test. I always test women. I, I test men too, but. I'm not trying to get men like that. <laughs> you know, with women, but with women, man, I, mean, I might see a pretty woman, and it's cool that you might be pretty. But do you do, can can I talk to you about religion? Can I talk to you about uh, uh, politics? And you don't get upset. You know, can we have taboo uh, conversations about without getting upset? And you know, I've I've gotten with so many chicks that are just they pretty, but they dumb as fuck, and I can't I can't mess with dummies. You know, and they're like, man, why, 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 why would you do that? I mean, she might be a good girl. I'm like, that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> you know, I don't care how good you are. If we can't have a conversation about, you know, <laughs> like I said, taboo topics, I don't even want to holler at you, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I, tell, I tell a lot of people, I'm like, out. if you could what? have a conversation, a deep conversation that maybe will get you a little bit upset during the conversation, but once the conversation is done, you're like, okay, so where are we going now? Oh, let's go out. If you can't do that, then I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know what's the purpose. Because yeah, we oh, all man, we got, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm like, where, where yeah. we, where we go? Well, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, just the way you believe, you're a sexist. I'm like, no, 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 I ain't, I ain't a sexist. I ain't, I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it. Like, that's not, that's not the, the, that's not what I'm trying to say, you know. But if that's what you're hearing, I, 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 I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I let you go. I let you go. Whatever, whatever you made up in your head. But at the same time, I understand that. Hey, we can't have a conversation. We can't have a debate and and, and not agree 
and still still be cool. You know, I didn't had a girlfriend, man. I had a, uh, we had a whole good day, <laughs> whole good day. And then it got on some taboo topic stuff, and I didn't agree with her. And then I started joking, you know, being being me, <laughs> and made her upset. And and we didn't have a great sex no more. You know, it, it was all set up, and we couldn't even have sex no more. She wanted to go and leave. I'm like, damn, you messed up the whole. It made me shake. Made me want to fight. I'm like, man, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe. No, I'm yeah, yeah. And and then that's you know for the people that just popped on me and uh. Uncle D is talking about uh, differences between men and women and dating and everything else. So uh, I see people chiming, looking in. So, you know, I guess you can conversate with us too. But, uh, you know, we, we're just, it's just a crazy thing when I think about it. Like when I do have a debate with a female and they get all upset, even a male, like a friendship of a male. Ah, oh, you mm -hmm. see, I can't, I can't be with you, man, because you're thinking this way. I'm like, wait, wasn't we just hanging out yesterday and having some fun? Like, right now, now because we have a differences of opinion, we can't be friends. It's not like I'm mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, where you going?" Oh, well, you go this way. I'm going to go murder somebody. We didn't say, you know, that's a difference. Now I can't really hang out with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. differences of opinion of of things that are going on in either relationship, like you said, religion, uh, politics, and everything, it should be like separate. You should have your different hat on. You know. But like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. we're not we're not working the girlfriend right now. We're just a debater. Okay, let me put my debate hat on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. I was like, right. I, I think relationships, I, even friendships, will last longer if they can think that way. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I yeah. guess that plays that. I that I to, you be with a woman that's not, you know, I guess uh, at, at the level intellectually, you got to say sorry for be, uh, believing what you believe because you made it or made her upset, and it's just like, nah. Like, I don't want to change because you, you you can't get up to my level. And I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying I don't agree with you. <laughs> and now right, I have right. to now I have to like, you know, comp compromise my intelligence because you can't you can't go through this uh, you know, big boy conversation, adult conversation. Oh, boo. Bam, your ass right. is back, but your mind is, you know, flat as fuck. <laughs> right, right. I, I always say to a lot of people like I could have many, many debates with uh, people. I even have on my show debates with politicians. And then we're, you see us drinking outside. Like, you know, oh, what were you, because uh, here we had a borough president and we had a good debate, and he, even though he lost, but then we had pictures that we were drinking coffee. And I was like, well, hello, that was a show about debating. This is our life. So we can hang out as friends and stuff like that. That has nothing to do with it. And a lot of people don't understand right. the two differences, you know, and I keep right. telling people you have to learn, even in business. I can probably be in business with the worst enemy of my life because making business with him is a perfect deal. And it made us a lot of money and it made us a lot of businesses. Now, outside, we're not drinking no coffee together. I don't like you. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Right. But, and, I, and you know what? That's a big problem. I hate to switch this uh, topic on it, but it's like that's a problem with, uh, you know, the uh the African American community doing business with each other. You can see, you know, like I would say, white guys, uh, people that do really know about business, they can cuss each other out in the boardroom. You know, yo mama this, yo mama that, and still do the business. But then, exactly. you know, two brothers they can't do business. They don't like each other. Now they can't do business with each other. Like, yep. come on, man, it's gonna help out everybody. What, what happened? I know we don't you like lost. each other, but let's go ahead and just do this. Yeah, you lost a million dollar deal? Yeah, yeah, because I don't like him. You're talking about my sneakers and all that. Fuck him. I don't want to deal with him. Oh, but you want to lose all that money because you can't swallow your pride and understand business is business and friendship is friendship. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That means I don't it's just like, do a business uh, with you either. Right. It's just like um, with the Trump thing. Everybody hates Trump. I put on my show, I said, if Trump comes, knocks on your door and says, hey, take a picture with me and say you're my friend, and I'll give you $10 million, will you do it? Many people say, oh, I don't know. I said, yeah, you probably say no, because you know that it's just a fact. You know, it's not a real fact. Like, he's not really going to come to your house. But I was like, just imagine if he would. I told the person I would be taking a picture with him, giving him a kiss in the cheek and everything. $10 million? Yeah. All right. And then you just go on your way. Tomorrow, you forget all about it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hey, for $10 million, I can bury that for four. I can bury that no. for $4 million. And I I was like, you think that 
you are, uh, cause one person said, hell no, my community won't like me. I said, my community is going to love me because out of that 10 million, I'm going to take about two and open up a community center for the kids. So you see how that works out? I was yeah. like, sometimes nah, you got to, sometimes dude. you got to kiss the devil. You know what I'm saying? Defeat the, defeat the sheep. Yeah. You know, it just happens. Sometimes that's it happens, perfect, happen, bro. And that's a perfect thing. Uh, you know, because we were talking about that and someone said, oh my God will not let me. I said, well, if you read the Bible, then Jesus let the devil play for a little bit. Did you see what happened? Hey, hey, yeah, did you see what happened with Joe? Didn't him, the devil and the God make a deal? They, you know, they yeah. play they play checkers up there, son. Come on, man. <laughs> I, I told him the same thing. I said, You don't you don't think that happens? I said, so for me to make a good thing, meaning if I have to deal with a bad person, maybe I, I will I will have to do that. You know? Yeah. I said it's overall, yeah, and it happens all the time, bro. But people before we mm-hmm. think that, hey, because that 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 person's uh, reputation, because you deal with that person, that means you're the same type of person. Nah, man. No, nope. come on. No, nope. I, I mean I know affiliations are all bad. Yeah, I told him the bird of the feather flies together. I was like, yeah, but the birds different fly away. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you don't have to, yep. you don't have to fly the same direction or stuff like that. I was like. No. This is business is business. And it's the same thing with relationships. I tell people, I'm like, you, you know, if you're in a good relationship, but now you don't like the way they make coffee or something. Now you want to break up. Or you want to argue about that little situation and then everything else is bothering you, you know? And and no. I was like, once that starts happening, you just got to break up. There's no sense of oh, staying yeah. in a relationship and arguing every single day. Yeah, yeah. If one little thing pops you off, you know what I'm saying? It's time to go. Like, I'll be oh, yeah. really sit down. And I tell my girl all the time, like, yo, I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I love you. There's some times where I don't like her. And I'll tell her straight up. But there's other times, hey, man, I, man, she's adorable. This, that, the other. But we ain't going to argue every fucking day. And when it comes to, like, we were at a bl- bad point a couple months ago. And I'm like, yo, you can go. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to go, I'll go. Why are you threatening me? I'm not, I'm not threatening you. You don't want to keep, keep bringing this shit up. And I don't want to go through this shit no more. Period. You know what I'm saying? You right, can calm right. down. I bring, you can calm down. I bring it up no more. Or I'm down to walk away. I'm too damn old <laughs> to be to be arguing with somebody about dumb shit. You know, and it's only it's only it's only because it festered up all this all this time. Now you want to get pop off? Nah, 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 nah. I ain't the one. I ain't the one. Mm-hmm. No. But a lot of, a lot of this shit, man, comes from the interpretation of love. A lot of people think love is a certain thing, and they interpret it a certain way. Because some people came up in families that, you know, hey, they thought love was, you know, beating up a motherfucker. They thought love was yelling at somebody. Some people think love is buying them stuff. You know, some, people, some of these women think love is just sex. Man, I, I, hey, I had to uh, divorce my wife because she thought sex was equal to love. So when I wasn't giving her sex, she went and got it somewhere else. Yeah. And, 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 thought, and thought it was love. I'm like, oh, come on, man. So... A lot of these he relationships me. Come- That's why I was with him. You didn't love me. I'm like, uh, what's your interpretation of love? Because I thought by giving you everything, being there for you and and showing you how to grow and everything, I thought that was love. I didn't know that mm-hmm. making the coffee wrong and not listening to you was not or was me not loving you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. and I tell yeah. a lot of people, uh, you, you just have to understand that sometimes what you think someone is doing it's not love for you is because you have certain fantasy of what love is, you know? And I'm like, yep. and that's why, that's why everything falls apart. You're thinking that he's coming in in a white horse and, you know, with a carriage and everything to pick you up and, you know, and you happily ever after he's giving you your crystal glass shoes and stuff. I was like, that's not, that's leave that to the cartoons and all that. Cause that's not life. No, no it's not going to happen that way. It's like, if you don't understand life, I, I guess, uh, and, and that's the difference between, I guess, men and women, and then also the age of a man and a woman, you know? So, mm-hmm. but I, I got another question now that we're speaking about age. I just seen a post yesterday given to us, and I guess we're going to talk about it next week, but they, they posted up, um, black and brown men are moving down because females want to uh be the male of the relationship a black and male a black and brown female want to be the uh boss of the relationship 
And that's why it brings the black and brown males down. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, it's a, I think it's a, the way society has, I guess we want to say flipped the roles of men, men and women right. so many times to where now women, because of, you know, women's suffrage and all that stuff, it's just been building up. Oh, I want more independence. I want more independence. And then it's got to the point where independence is taking care of every damn thing. Right, right. And, yeah, and, like I, I say, and a lot of men, I say a lot of men that are, you know, I come up to women or actually encounter women that are, you know, hey, I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you type shit. Gets to the point where men don't even want to deal with that, you know? Because women, with, I, I've been with women that try to throw that up in, in, in your face. You know, I don't need you. I don't, uh, you know, I, I can do this shit by myself. You know, and it's like, okay, well, it didn't deter me away from an independent woman. It just deter me away from a, a, a woman that's independent, but very insecure. Because she has to keep telling me, oh, I did this for you. I did this. Always keeping score. Like, yo, okay. Yeah, and you know. Got to display I, 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 up on the board. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I mean that that's what I that's what I believe is probably happening in the statistics. That's why it's kind of happening. Yeah. Because, you know, hey, w- women women are acting like, you know, they don't need a man. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the whole the whole thing like I was telling someone, I was like, there's a difference between having uh confidence and just being damn stubborn. You know, there's a big difference. Like I told a lot of uh people like us black and brown um the black and brown females are more having attitudes than more than having confidence and um, cockiness, you know? Yeah. I was like, that's what drives a man away. Oh, no, it's because mm-hmm. we're, we can stand our ground and we're powerful speak. No, you're not powerful speakers. You're irritating and you're arguing all the time. That's not a powerful speaker. That's not someone that can stand their own two feet, you know? Mm-hmm. I said the difference. Yeah. I, I would... I was reading something a couple of days ago is about basically having an unbalanced heart chakra. It was like you're you're you know you're you're too heady, you're too much. So you're intellectual. So when you talk, it's not you come off intellectual, but you come off abrasive. You know, right, you're, not, right. you're not coming from you're not coming from the heart. You're coming from the mind. You're coming from you know all the emotions, all you know everything that happened to you in the past, and it comes off abrasive. And it's like nah, you can't be abrasive when you know you got everything. You know you don't need to. You know, you don't have a king doesn't have to show that he's a king. He can walk around and, and, and you can just feel it. You know, an independent woman doesn't have to keep telling me you I'm independent. I'm independent. I don't need you. <laughs> you exactly. Know? If I went up if I went up to a woman who's like, yo man, I don't need you. I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm good. You know, I got porn. <laughs> I don't need you, girl. I'll jack off. You know? Yeah, then exactly. she don't want she don't want to be with you. <laughs> exactly. I, I tell a lot of people, you, you know, the sense of uh, having it, like you said, you don't really need to say it, you know? So yeah. if, if, especially if you're going to keep saying, I'm a grown ass man, um, I can do this. I'm a grown ass. Well, if you're a grown ass man, you would have should have known you don't need to say it. You should have mm-hmm. known that you were supposed to do this and this and that. So yeah. right there is like a double negative already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know? and, and a lot of females, they, they are doing that. And I'm hearing that so, so much of when I go out and I'm talking to people and I'm like, why do I keep hearing females saying, I don't need a man. I can stand my ground. I can do. Oh, and then when you don't hold the door oh why you couldn't hold the door for me. I'm like, no, you didn't need a man. No, you know, I'm need me. So it's a double standard. Oh. I don't need you, but now I need you. I don't need you, but yeah, I need yeah. you. Yo, yeah, yo, I what you can buy, buy bipolar bitches. Yeah, you cannot be, I, I, you know, because the whole in woman empowerment, like I have a lot of females on, on my show and they say they don't really like this whole woman empowerment because it just it just turned so different. Because if you're saying you want woman empowerment, you want 100 percent equal rights. I told a lot of people, I said, OK, so my, my listeners, I was like, if you are a female and you want 100 percent as a male. Think of yourself as a construction worker. I have to pick up a pipe as a male. You have to pick up a pipe as a male and you drop the pipe. Don't think I'm going to go help you because if, if it's a hundred percent and I got to pick up my weight and do my job, that means you should pick up your weight and do your job. Ain't that correct? 
Oh, no, no, but it's a gentleman. No, you cannot have a, see, you cannot have, you want a gentleman to help you do your work, but you want to be 100% um, equal in the, in the field. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. No. And I was like, you got to pick a side, which one you want. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I think it comes, uh, when it comes to the, the laws and the rules, man, it, 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 it's not, it's not about physical. It's, it, it's basically, you know, it, it's about all equal rights and things like that. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, you that's, know, you know and, that's like a sound I was given. Like, yeah, but when it comes to when it comes to women being, I mean, a man and a woman are supposed to come. It's supposed, like I said, a man that doesn't need a woman and a woman that doesn't need a man. That's a perfect relationship. Most men go into a relationship needing something from that woman, and a woman goes in a relationship needing something from that man, and they might get mm-hmm. it for like ten minutes of that relationship. But then it starts going, it starts dying off. And it's like, that's the reason why the relationship's not working is because you didn't come in there whole. You know what I'm saying? You came in there pieces yeah. and thinking that you're going to make a hole. No, two holes <laughs> make a hole, not two halves. Right. <laughs> you know? I, like, I, think, not... I think the one, the one issue uh, a lot of the females think I can hold them because I can give them good sex. Um, a dial can give me as the best sex as I want. It doesn't mean the damn thing. Uh, you know, I was, that's why a lot of people think that that's going to hold a relationship. And that really doesn't, it doesn't no, hold a relationship. No, I'd say, cause geez, I, I know man. my, my grandfather and my grandmother has been together for almost, well, they 87 now. So about 40 to 50 years together. And out of those 50 years, my grandfather said half of the years they were having sex. But they stood together because yeah. they had something, you know, that they needed with each other. And he was like, that's right. love. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, man. It's flipped, it's flipped upside down because of this perverted uh, life that we live in. You know what I'm saying? Right. That sex is, sex is first, you know? And, uh, I mean, so, sometimes in some, um, some uh, cultures I believe that. I think it's in Sweden that, you know, you go there and people, they just have sex before they get to know each other's name. You know, they look at each other, they go have sex, and they're like, oh, if they didn't have good sex, then they don't need to know each other's name, you know? All right. And, I mean, I, I think that's pretty darn <laughs> mature to the way I can just have sex and not be connected and be like, oh, because a lot of people have sex and they believe that they got to possess that sex. They got to possess that dick. They got to possess that pussy. That, that's mine. And it's like, nah, that's not it. That's, that's not the end all, the be all. I think sex should be, able, should be on the back end of a good relationship. But... Yeah, they say that's a bonus. Yeah, if hmm? you keep it as the bonus, like a gift, then that's great. But if you keep it as the the first thing supposed to be, it's gonna fall apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I mean, like I said, man, my, my relationship with women got better when I stopped trying to have sex with women. Every woman I saw, I wanted to have sex with, and I just said, "Oh, you know what? I want to go celibate for a while." And it took me a minute. It took me about a month not having that urge to have sex with women every time. And then I end up having friends. I end up becoming friends with a lot of good women, and the caliber of women start going up. And then when I start having sex again, it wasn't I wasn't having sex with just random females. I was actually having sex with friends of mine. And right. then ended up meeting meeting the girl that I've been with for three years out of one of those friends of mine. And I would have probably would have never even like looked at her twice because I would have been so superficial and just looked at her like a shallow owl. Oh my gosh, she's She's that she doesn't have this. She doesn't have. She's not as fine as this one. She's not a few. She doesn't dress this way. She doesn't do this. Nah, I found out what a, what I really wanted in a woman, a real person. You know what I'm saying? Someone I can talk to about anything. Someone that will you know take take my bullshit and, and call me out. You know, and right, not right. be ugly. And I would have never got that without not having that you know that male instinct. Oh, I need to. I need to fuck. I need to have something. You know, something to fuck. I need something nice to be with me exactly. all the time. After I stopped doing that. Dude, relationships with I, I saw women different because every woman I used to see, I used to put them on a pedestal. Like, you're the one. You're the one. I want you. I'm putting all my energy in you. And then when that falls apart, oh, here goes. The, oh, hey, no. And it's like, nah, nah, fuck that. Yo, you're all the one. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, all y'all the same. And I'm going to love on all y'all. And once I learned, learned to love on all y'all, yeah, I found out the ones that are, I, I can, I, now I know what females, I can, I know females like the back of my hand. Because <laughs> I have so many female friends. Yeah, yeah. I had a, a job where it was mostly females. 
I was HR and the rest of um, nurses. It was in our nursing home. And they used to say stuff to me like I was like, um, do you guys know that I'm a guy, right? Like, y'all talking to me like a girlfriend. <laughs> you know, they were telling me things that they would, and they were asking me questions. Why does my husband do this? Why does my husband do that? And I'm like, wow. When I started listening to them, I'm like, okay, this is what a relationship is about. They arguing and talking, but you t you hear them at the end. Oh man, it's almost time because I can't wait to go home. I'm like, okay, but you were just arguing. And you know, when I was young, I'm like, I didn't understand that. Like how you can argue and then two minutes later, you're, you're hugging and kissing, you know? So mm -hmm. to me, when I first seen it, when I was young, I thought my parents were just doing that just because we're there. Oh, uh, they're just hugging and kissing because we're there. They don't want to show that they're mad. And no, it wasn't. It was just, that's their life. Okay, that was, that was just an argument about the food. Now, now that argument is done. It's over, not done with. We don't have to talk about it no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The difference, you know, those are the difference between men and females, especially when dating and stuff like that. And, and like I said, I think it comes out also to the age difference, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely age. You, you learn a lot, I mean, in life. People don't understand that you're still a kid at 25 years old. You might think you're old and you think you got it all together, but you're still a child. So, yeah, yeah, because now, 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 now you're just trying to live that little life of um, freedom, of being by yeah. yourself. What it means to be alone and making your real decisions on your own. You know. Yep. I always say I, I got a little thing like uh, when you get become twenty, it's like you start all over again. You know. Yeah. That, yeah. You're, you're zero. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got the balconies, but you're like reborn. You know, like. Take that, take that. If you came out the coochie and you knew how to walk, talk, and you know, do everything you did, what would you do? You know? That, that's the, the, you know, a lot of the house. Once you leave the house, it's like you're starting all over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you're at zero. And so if you're five, you're really five years old. You 36, you're only 16. You know, mm -hmm. 40 is a new 20. You know, at 20 years old, I know or at 40 years old, I know about 38. Yeah, I got this, I don't give a fuck attitude. Like I was a teenager again. You know, like I really did not care anymore, you know, and I finally got into my own self. And I was like, dude, I thought I knew what I knew. I thought I would knew this shit when I was 23, 24. No, you didn't know this. You're a yeah, brand yeah. new person. You yeah, know? I, uh, <laughs> I said uh, on my page, uh, my birthday passed and I was like, I'm 28 years old. My, my sister was like, no, you're not. You're older than me and I'm 40. I was like, yeah. That's your problem, but I'm 28 years old after I became legal. I became legal when I was 21, so I had to start it over again. So that's why I'm 28. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. People, people didn't realize it until I said that. I'm like, yeah, you, you're not a uh, towards USA standards. You become a man when you're 21. So I'm 28 years old now. I ain't a kid no more. Mm -hmm. I'm 28 years old as a man. So. I had to learn how to do everything all over again. Because people were like, oh, I'm a grown person. Uh, yeah, ever since I've been a man, I'm like, oh, since you've been a man, I, I haven't seen you done nothing yet that indicates you're a man. You know? <laughs> so you really yeah. have not learned yet to be a man. Especially when you're 25. I'm like, don't come to me about being a man. You know? And if you're no, 25 and still living with, with mom and still uh, uh, trying to get money from grandma, then you're not a man. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh yeah, or, or or you just got you, or, or you got you a brand new 2020. You know what I'm saying? And you paying five hundred dollars in insurance, and you paying for a three hundred dollars or four hundred bucks in a in car payment. You know, and your rent's only seven seventy five. Well, what are you doing? You know, you ain't a yeah, man. Yeah. You didn't make a good decision. Yeah, yeah, I tell <laughs> that's the same thing. I'm like, uh, if you have a car that costs more, or you're spending more on your car than you you have income, then something's wrong with you. You're not making yeah. real good decisions because a vehicle will break on you and then what you have, you'll have nothing to fall on. I, I, was, saying, I was like, no, I was like, you can't, can't do that. Yeah. No. Like, like I said before that, you know, we were looking for a vehicle and my mother-in-law was like, oh, don't buy no used one. Just buy a brand new one. I was like, yeah. And get into those monthly payments. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm like, I'll buy a no, used no. one three to 4,000 and call it a day for, for a year or two or into a break. So, you know, hopefully it don't, but I'm not getting into no monthly mm -hmm. payments. 
because if something happens to the car, I'm gonna still have to be paying. Yeah. So I got, I can't, I gotta think long term. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not out here trying to look good. I'm trying to get yeah. here. I'm trying to get the A to B. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm as long as I can, as cheap as I can. I'm like, my thing is this, like why, why would my, why would thirty percent of my uh, income go out to something that I only drive fifteen percent of the time? <laughs> yeah, even yeah. even if that's if that's a lot, because a lot of time you know, especially living in the city. Some people don't even drive their car into the evenings or the weekends, you know? I was like, especially here right. in New York. In New York, we I only drive my car. My car's been sitting for a week before I drove there one time because everything that I was going to was next to a train station. So why would I drive my car, look for parking, pay for this, pay for gas, when I could have just took the train and get off and, and I'm comfortable? So I don't really mm -hmm. drive the car. So I'm like, for me to buy a brand new car to sit, pay for monthly, I said, no, but a lot of people do it. And I'm like, why? Oh, because it makes me look good. You know, see, man, that, sh that shows me I'm making it. Really? My bank account shows me I'm making it. I don't know about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. The 70 year old me that's not working at Walmart shows me that I made it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. if, you know, if, if, you, if you're working in Walmart to get a paycheck and not volunteering, that shows me you did not make it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yup. Let's make it. Hey, my uh, one of my, my one of my mentors says, "Hey, man, you need to put ten percent away of your money to pay for your seventy year old self, so he can thank your thirty year old self." I'm like, you know, that makes so much fucking sense. You know, because yeah. you would hate to be like forty five, thirty, you know, eighty years old. Like, damn, man, when I was forty, shit, man, that nigga just got high. <laughs> yeah. A lot of right. a lot of people a lot of people don't understand that, and and we we do budget stuff, and we we always say if you're getting paid ten dollars an hour, that means you're only going to get paid eight dollars an hour because you should take two dollars an hour and put it away, and when you get a raise, yeah. you don't you still continue with that same eight dollar an hour budget, even if you got a raise. Yeah. That means that raise goes into your other two dollars that you've been putting to the side, and I'm like that's how you are able to get what you're going to get. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be filthy rich, but you'll be comfortable, you know? Yeah. I was oh, yeah. like, and if you do, it, you do it for long enough, you, you actually have a, a nest egg for opportunities that come. A lot of times people get opportunities that ain't got no nest egg whatsoever, yeah. you know? Oh, it's only 2000 to put in, or it's only $500 to put in. Oh, can we wait till next month? Hey. <laughs> No, like five hundred, five hundred. All right, can I, I got I got two right now. Can I get? No, I want my five hundred. Oh yeah. man, you know. Yeah. Can we work it out? Can we work it out? No, we can't because that means if you got to work it out, meaning you never worked it out before. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. I, 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 uh, what is it called? The Richest Man in Babylon. Um, mm -hmm. It's a real good book. Uh, John uh, George S. Clayson. Definitely read that book. Give it to your kids. Give it to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But he says opportunity is like is like a mistress. She wants to be with you. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not ready for her, she'll go to someone else. Ooh, deep. That was deep. Yeah, I like that one. Because that is true, though. Yeah. Yo, yeah. she's a mistress. She'll sleep. She's, she's, she's there for every man that's ready for her. But if you ain't ready for her, she'll go ahead and go to someone else. But opportunity is always going to come. Always. So what are you going to do? You're going to be ready? You know what I'm saying? You, got, you, better, you better get ready so you don't have to be ready. <laughs> yeah, I know a couple of people that were like, "Oh, I'm gonna take a vacation." Oh, where are you going? I'm just gonna stay home and stuff like that. Oh, so then you got all those time off, and you added these days to sit at your house. Why? Because you really don't have the money to go nowhere. I was like, "Ooh, how about this? You get a two week vacation, and then you you spend you you saved up for four months." to go on this vacation so you just spent four months to go blow it on something else instead of saving else. up that three months mm -hmm. to put it into a vet that would maybe threw, threw you off a cash flow that you could have went on that vacation and it would have came out of your fucking you know active income it would have came out yeah. of your passive income now you can like, go on vacation yeah it's like my uh my sister was one of them she uh she took a one-week vacation and then she came back and she was like, ooh, now I'm going to probably be broke for like about three weeks. What? Like, how you go on vacation and come back and you're supposed to be broke for three weeks? 
she was like, oh, because my paycheck, it coming, I already tallied how much of my paycheck I got to pay for this, pay for that. I said, that's where you went wrong. You should have not gone on a vacation if you're going to come back and you have to struggle again. Th that's not, doesn't make no sense. You know? Nah, man. You over there playing with the Joneses, you know, yeah, trying to keep yeah. up with the Joneses, your girlfriend. Your girlfriend yeah, got with like, husbands and shit. I, I tried to explain to them, but, you know, sometimes you can't explain to family. And so I just showed them. I was like, I was like, you went to Florida there for one week, came back broke for three weeks. I went to the Philippines for a whole month, came back, and I was still like two months or a month above my um, average pr um, price. I still had enough money that when I came back, I still could take a week to relax because of that trip and not worried mm -hmm. about my bills. I'm like, how you go yeah. on vacation and come back and you got bills? I was like, yeah, you're supposed to have a bill, which is the one that's coming up the month, but not bills that you had already stacked up. So if you yeah. have bills that uh -huh. you're stacked up, you shouldn't be taking a vacation and being broke when you come back. It didn't make no sense. Yeah. You know? I'm trying to get this up right now for my finances. Like, if I can't buy it five times, I don't need it. You know? Yeah, I heard that. Like, Someone I told me that. It was like, if you cannot buy that, you know, uh, multiple of times, then you shouldn't have it. You know? Yeah. So if I can't, so if I need a, a vacation, it's going to be $1,000 for me to go on a vacation. Then I should have $5,000 in my bank account. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. I shouldn't be going to that vacation and only have $1,200 in my bank account and then go out. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what the hell is going to happen. <laughs> yeah. You might miss yeah. the plane. You, you you might have this. You might you might have to put a deposit on something that you didn't know you had to put a deposit on that took out $300 out of your, out of your money. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I don't get. I don't go nowhere. Proven, if I can't, if I can't put, uh, if I can't fill up that gas tank more than six or seven times, like, I'm not going on a trip. I'm not going on a trip because I can. I got gas to get there and get back. Yeah, and it, it's so yeah. funny that you say that because uh, we we go annually to the Philippines and we're supposed to be going in November. My wife just texted me this morning and said, "Do you know we just got an email stating that now we have to pay for." Uh, extra um, type of passport because they're not letting foreigners into the Philippines unless they have, like, let's say property or some reason other than vacation to go in there because of the COVID. And I'm like, right. what? I told her, I said, ah, maybe, maybe we're not meant to go. She was like, well, you know, we got the money to pay for it. It's only a couple. I was like, yeah, that's not the problem. My, my thing is with all these little hoops, maybe we're not meant to go. But I got, like, you know, like you were saying, like, Things can happen there where you have to pay for it. So what would happen now if we would not have the money to pay for a little thing? That whole plane ticket would have gone down the drain. You know? Yeah. Like people don't mm -hmm. need, we need to realize you got to save up your money. Like, I can't go nowhere until my bill is paid. You know? Like, at least the rent. Yeah. You know? Like, you don't want to come home yeah. and talking about you got a 30-day eviction notice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I'm like, well, you, I'm, you, trying to go, I'm trying to go home and I'm, I'm, I'm dependent on uh, picking up extra shifts. Yeah, you know, you know? Oh, yeah, that's another one. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Because when I get home, I do a double for like about two weeks. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why? You know? Yeah. People don't. And then you did, and then you, and then you did double before you left. You did double before you left. Yeah, yeah. Because you just didn't have to get that money, money to go. Yeah. Right. Just to get that money to go. Yeah. People don't realize that. Like when you come back from vacation, you're supposed to give yourself at least two, two days or three days more to relax before you really hit the city. Not just come in and jump into the into your everyday yeah. life, you know. Yeah, because when you do that, you, when you do that, you're all pissy. You're all like, yeah. oh man, I wish I for less. I wish I'm a lot, blah, 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 blah. Hey. Hey, come on, man. And they, they always yo, come he... back the day or two after they got. Oh, I'm landing on Saturday. I got to go to work on Monday. I'm like, wow, man. You land on the weekend to go back to work on a Monday. You're going to be a cranky person. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should have landed uh -huh. in the middle of the week and then come back, like, on, on a Monday or, or a week after that. Go back to work, you know? Relax. You know what I call these people? I call these people, they're, they're, they're called weekend ballers. They right. get paid on Friday, and they broke by su Saturday or Sunday. Oh yeah. They ask you for they've asked you for gas money on Tuesday Come and they on, pay you back on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Weekend ballers. I used to be a weekend baller. You I used to be a weekend baller all the time. Oh uh, yeah, be like, yeah. And then especially if you get paid every week. That's why I tell a lot of people, if you get a job that gets that pays you every two weeks, your life is gonna change. 
because you're going to be like, mm-hmm. well, no, nah, I can't spend this. I don't got no money into like two more weeks. But but if you're getting paid every single week as, as a youngster, oh, my God, they, yeah. they, they don't even think about that. I just, I'm going to get paid anyway, as long as I got $20 to go back and forth to work. I'm like, OK, yeah, that's not how we're supposed to be living. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, but they, they do it. I did it. I did it for a long time. I mean, I did it when I was getting paid big money. And I was like, dang, bro, where did that all go? Exactly. You know, yep. Where yeah. did that all go? I was smoking good. I was drinking good. I was going there. I was, I was, I was paying for hotels and shit that, you know, didn't, didn't need to. You know, paying for a hotel at 12 o'clock at night and got to check out by 11 o'clock in the morning. Come on, man. It don't make no sense. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. You're, we were talking about uh, me and my, my friend. He was like, damn, you, you think about it. All the money that we had, when we won, because uh, once I came out of college, I went straight to law school. Just making all this money. As a young kid, I was like, I started buying Crystal Dragons, designing my house. And the funny part about it, I was rarely in my house. I was in my house to go home, go to sleep, because I didn't even eat there. I used to eat, you know, before, like in a in a fast food restaurant or something, you know, because I was like, by the time I get home and cook, I'm going to be tired. Come home, go to sleep. Mm-hmm. So I'm spending three hours, four hours of my life in the house that's very hooked up for what? Because as soon as I moved, half of the stuff broke and, you know, I gave some stuff away because it was too much to take. So I'm like, all that money could have been in the bank when I was young. You know what I'm saying? It, mm-hmm. it, it happens stupid things when you're young, but as you get older, you realize it. And then when you try to tell a youngster, they'd be like, man, you don't know. Um, am I speaking to you about when what happened to me? <laughs> so I, I think I do yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you what happened to me. My credentials are my fuck ups. You yeah. know, like I, I can tell somebody. I'm like, you want to know how to do something right? Just do opposite of what I did for so long. You know, yeah. I was at uh, conferences with people failures, like a, con- a conference with people that just fucked up. You know, <laughs> yeah. that would be the best lesson ever. You know, I think, don't I think give me somebody that's successful. Give me somebody that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, and I think if you actually would do something like that and have some people listening, they will realize, wow, they all pretty much have the same fuck ups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if yep. they would have told the other person about it, they would have not have that. You know? Mm-hmm. Because I tell a lot of You're people, like a, lot of, a lot of stuff is a repeat. So maybe someone else did something, messed up their whole life, and you're in the same way. That's why some people be like, yo, I see it, uh, uh, you in, in me, man. I said the same thing I used yeah. to do when you were doing. And people don't realize yeah, yeah. that. I didn't get that shit when I was young. I did not get that shit when I was young. But now, yo, I'm going to be 40 here in, like, uh, in a couple more weeks, you know, 20 years old, really. That's what I call it. But, yeah, yeah. Um, but hey, uh, what's it called? I would see, now I see kids, I'm like, dude, like, I had an argument with a, I, had, I got into an argument with a guy. That was, you know, he was committed to misunderstanding me. And I didn't understand. For me, he was so much like me. So I did what I would do with my, if someone like me, you know, I went off and we went off with each other. And that whole, whole conversation messed me up for two days. And I was like, you know what? He was just like me. I mm-hmm. see it in him. And now, and now I know how to talk to somebody that reminds me of myself as a young man, you know, <laughs> But I would have never known how to go through that shit unless I was like, you know, I was that person. And I was like, yo, he can learn a lot from me. But will he? Oh, hell no. Because oh, no. he's just like me. <laughs> yep. he I didn't listen to nobody. <laughs> I didn't listen no. to them when they said, you know. So it's like the same thing. And I think that's a, a, a circle that a lot of people need to try to break. But no, no one really knows how to, like, because you can tell a kid, no matter why. And they'd be like, oh, okay, no problem. Yes. And then when you leave, this boy trying to preach to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if yeah. you're not a, 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 a movie star or someone, they would barely listen to you. You know? Yeah. yeah. And they it, don't realize it, 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 that. It, 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 One time we, we did a, a speech and everyone was in a suit and tie. I came in regular clothes one time and they just said, hey, Charles, you want to speak about something? I said, Oh, no, no, no problem. I will. And he was like, all right, cool. As soon as I got up there, I, I, people were like looking at me like, wait, that's the same guy that was, I was like, hey, how you doing, guys? I was like, the only reason why I'm speaking today is because I was outside with a meet and greet 
And half of y'all people just passed right by me and started talking to people with suit and ties. Okay. And uh, you didn't realize that those people that you were talking to in suit and ties, I'm the one that pays them. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. you passed right by me and missed an opportunity to talk to the people that were lower than me. And you did not even realize that. And I stopped and said, hey, guys, how y'all doing? But, oh, I'm good. And y'all just kept on walking like y'all didn't want to hear it. I said, you never know who are you going to meet. You know, I never. just came here to make sure that these guys are doing their job and talking to you guys and, and trying to get you into different programs. But I realized that one program is the mind. People who have that concept of if you're not a star or celebrity or with a suit and tie, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, I mean, it's been a marketing scheme for, for a long time, you know. It started off with uh, infomercials back in the day when they got mm -hmm. some celebrity or even even when they got like Joe Nam Namath uh, to, to, to wear pantyhose, you know. <laughs> like, it, it, it to, for for Gillette with uh, OJ, it, like as soon as you put a star up there, it, it basically, you know, I guess it solidifies or co-signs it. And those people that call sign is like, yo, they got a big audience. But, but man, I, I I really wish there was a you know something in the in the uh in the communities that will teach the the kids exactly what they didn't teach us in school, you know? Yeah. Or they yeah. don't teach. Because I found I found out when I was about twenty eight, twenty nine, man. Yeah, I'm like yeah. school. They say they teaching you to educate yourself. I was like, but ain't life part of education? It's like yeah. they don't like, teach they, you about life. They will teach you about yeah. the most important thing about life. What's the most important thing? Your mind. Like who you are is like your most important thing. Like the way your mind works and how you think and how you learn. Like they don't even have classes on how to, you know, mem you know, really just use your subconscious mind. You know, yeah. which which is I think paramount. Paramount, you know. Use your imagination. Your imagination can make if everything you see around you right now came from somebody's imagination. Exactly. exactly. You know. So why why are we cheating our kids I, I, to use their imagination, to use their mind? You know, use the faculties. Why are we teaching them? Well, the one thing I think they don't teach us is personal development. Yeah. You know, personal yeah, development, like developing in any skill that you might have. Yeah, they don't teach any of that. Like, you know, bring it out on uh, life situations, and you know, they used to have courses where they uh, show you like philosophy or stuff like that. Just you know, a touch of it. They don't do that no more. You know, nah, you gotta wait till you go to college. Everything that has to do with living life, home ec, and uh, learning how to cook, learning all these things they took out of the schools. Yeah, you, you know. Yeah, they did. I'm like, I mean, what's the purpose? It, it, yeah, I, 